এয়া আকাশবাণী গুয়াহাটীর মহাবহ চলন্তিকা নমস্কার শ্রোতাসল আজ চলন্তিকালে স্বাগত আজির অনুষ্ঠান শুন গুয়াহী মহানগর উন্নয়ন প্রাধিকরণের মুখ্য কার্যবাহী বিষয়া অম্বামুথান এমপির সঙ্গে হওয়া কথোপকথন সাথে কথা পাতিছে মানস প্রতিম শর্মায় Ease of living is one of the major concerns that uh, GMDA has taken, well, uh, one of the major things that GMDA has concentrated upon. We have introduced a range of uh, innovative measures to make urban living easier and more convenient. Mm. Uh, like uh, we have uh, streamlined various administrative processes to provide efficient user-friendly solutions and we have uh, provided you, uh, open spaces for the public and so on. Some of the administrative initiatives that has been taken by GMDA First one is like the online building permission system. Mm -hmm. It was introduced in 2015 and the process has been uh, smoothened over a period of time. Uh, for the process of building construction permissions, this uh, system has been working seamlessly. Through this system, we, the citizens they can submit building plans online. Then it is scrutinized by a rule-based software application. Then it is checked whether that the submitted building plans adhere to the building bylaws that are in place. The main advantage of the system is that the citizens can, it, 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 it is a faceless system. Citizens can apply, they can, uh, the requisite fee will also be calculated online. They can make the payment online. They don't have to do any physical visit to government offices. And this makes the whole process more efficient and convenient. And uh, since its inception, like uh, we have submitted, issued more than 11,000 per permissions in 2015. And the other one is the online land sale permission and the land use certification uh, this thing that also we have brought it online from 2020 onwards it is also a web-based web software application and uh, this is also a faceless portal uh, it has various uh, on online methods like we can you can pay through upi net banking and uh, the main thing is the system generates a qr coded certificate it can be downloaded by the uh, applicant and uh, the, the no objection certificate or the land use certificate it can be downloaded it is qr coded and till till now we have uh, we have issued more than nearly 2000 uh, uh, all the land sale permissions and one of the main another important thing that uh, has come upon is the mukhya mantri sahaj griha nirman mashani uh, this has been done through the visionary leadership of our honorable chief minister it is like uh, since the building bylaws were amended in 2020 and uh, it was amended to introduce a new provision for the issue of instant building permissions and planning permissions. In that people who are building residential buildings up to ground plus two stories and they should have a plot area of up to say 670 square meters. 670 square meters comes to around say maybe two, three katas maximum. Mm -hmm. Under this uh, scheme, we, there is an online system that has been developed for these categories. In that the citizen can apply for this service through RTPS portal. The application is routed to the MMSGAN portal where the application is processed to the M-Panel registered technical person. He is called as the ERTP and after the final sub submission the permission letter is also available uh, after the scrutiny and everything. The final permission is available through the RTPS portal. and. Uh, this solves a lot of, uh, this be, makes the uh, governance of these systems very faceless. It, it, it reduces the human interface mm -hmm. and it will be, it reduces a lot of, uh, it, it makes system more convenient for the citizen. So these are the things that are the main uh, important things that have been done for, uh, say, maybe right. easing out the administrative right, process. Right. And here are several, offline, there are several parks have been set up in Guwahati, parks have been developed. So what's your add on plan and then or, or how things have been working out on it. GMDA we have taken uh, significant steps towards uh, provide this is also part of the uh, this is a continuation of ease of living right. GMDA has is committed to increasing the quality of life of citizens of Guwahati and one of the main components of this commitment is to develop a series of beautiful parks and green spaces across the city we have uh, undertaken these projects since 21 
and uh, so many parks have come up like the nehru park uh -huh. nehru park has been given a good facelift it is like uh, one of the best park that we have in the city jor pukri sradhanjali kanan and we have uh, done this atal udyan in adabari uh -huh. then amrit udyan in hengrabari botanical garden we has been opened very recently in the old jail premises uh -huh. and uh, swahid udyan and so on so we see it as an investment in society and funds that are used to maintain these parks this is this is also borne by gmd and it is it, it it costs us a lot but then we are able to provide people with uh, common spaces which, which is also part of the ease of living thing and recently we uh, we published an advertisement in the uh, in the newspapers asking citizens to give us suggestions about uh, where to where all to make park where all vacant land is available we received around 20 25 watt suggestions we had a, we are in the process of shortlisting the uh, number of parks that uh, the newer parks that we will be building okay so that is one thing so new parks are in coming up in guwahati yeah yeah yeah, yeah. okay that's right fine. but another uh, you know concern for guwahatians is this water login or the artificial flood so some various steps are being taken i mean to mitigate the situation but so uh, that even though there are certain issues so how do we going to face that or to resolve that issue we have taken several initiatives to combat flood and water logging in our guwahati city we have this uh, mission flood free guwahati mm -hmm. it is a mission that has been functioning since the last couple of years uh, the we it does not matlab it, it is like this mission is basically to make a more resilient and livable city some of the projects that we had taken was the construction of drainage channel from the narangi railway station to the bondajan confluence then we have constructed a series of pump houses in silsa kubil we have uh, in bahini uh, uh, diversion we have done and then we have uh, installed a pump house in bondajan and so on we are taking several initiatives to reduce the impact of flood in the city and uh, we have done some storm water diversion drains also and uh, we are committed to addressing the issue of flood and water logging in the city uh, we are also aware that the topography and land use patterns in guwahati have significantly changed we had the original master plan uh, of the uh, flood situation in 2008 we made it in 2008 since then there has there has been a lot of change but then we have taken crucial steps to meet the evolving challenges uh, so to to have a future ready this thing we have we are in the process of creating a gis based strong water drainage master plan and we will be coming up with a detailed project report and also we uh, there are around seven basins in the city so we are taking up two of the basins immediately through a adb funded project it will be about 150 crore rupees and we are also in the process of demarcating wetlands and major channels mm -hmm. you must be aware that the uh, recently we uh, had this eviction and the demarcation of the silsa kubil right. it will go a long way in in reducing the flood uh, uh, urban flood situation in the city of guwahati mm -hmm. also we have a uh, we have embraced the concept of uh, water sensitive urban design uh, this is part of our spawn city master plan this will align our city's development with uh, very modern and eco friendly practices Right, and as you as you mentioned about the uh, eviction of Seal Sabo Bill, would you please tell about it? What is your next plan? Like how you are going to utilize the space? Yeah, we have a DPR in place. Yeah. It will be we, uh, not only that it will increase the we plan to increase the water retention capacity of the bill. Originally it was a bill, and now we will be excavating it. We will be making it into a water retention facility, and also it will act as we will be developing it into a public space for the people of the city. It will not only be a recreational space; it will be a public space that will be for everyone. Right. Another tourist attraction spot in Guwahati is the ropeway. You know, people keep coming, keep utilizing the services. So, how it is being functioning, and do you have any plan to further extend the ropeway services in Guwahati? Uh, ropeway services actually, uh, it is the long. I will not be wrong if I say that it is the longest river ropeway in the country, and uh, this is a visionary project. It has uh, it aims to it has been connecting both the banks of the river Brahmaputra. It has it is, there's got several advantages like uh, it reduces travel time firstly it makes commuting more convenient and time efficient then you must also be aware that the ferry services across the river 
it gets suspended during high flood situations and also when there is less water in the river. So during this time, this ropeway acts as a very robust alternative mode of transport. It ensures connectivity even during adverse weather conditions. The only time that we uh, stop the ropeway operations is when there is a lot of lightning and uh, mm. la- when the wind speed is more than a certain level. It uh, connects the both the South Bank and North Bank and it passes over our uh, Umananda Island also. Right. Actually, uh, it is more than just a transportation project. Actually, the ropeway it can act as a catalyst for economic growth, convenience and resilience and uh, opens doors to a lot of opportunities. For example, in the North Bank, we have identified land and we will be developing it into a recreation spot also. Mm-hmm. So, these things are there and the ropeway is definitely, it's an, uh, it's, uh, it adds value to uh, the uh, city's tourist landscape also. Right, right. And what is it about your uh, future plan? How GMDA is moving to further boost the you know, tourist sports or the basic communities in Guwahati? What's your, all our future plan? We have several plans for the future and I would like to touch upon some very fine things that uh, we are planning to do. Uh, we are going to introduce some planning tools under our master plan, new planning tools. One such tool is the LAP. LAP is called as the Local Area Plan, mm-hmm. which is used to implement a larger vision embedded in the master plan. It will focus on implementation of master plan through incentivized redevelopment. It will improve the existing urban environment and uh, it will also attract new investment. It will also take into account conservation of heritage, then development of public transport networks and all that. And uh, this LAP tool, the uh, we have already identified the area and we will be implementing it. And uh, next we have this thing called the uh, TPS, Town Planning Scheme. Mm-hmm. The Town Planning Scheme will also be like, uh, it will also, uh, what do you call it? Uh, it, it will be uh, in, a, we have also identified the area for the Town Planning Scheme. And if, say for example, a plain area, it, it, LAP and TPS are, near, are both the same. It is just that LAP is for a brownfield thing and TPS is for a greenfield. With TPS, it will build a new township basically. And the LAP will, be, will try to modify the existing built-up areas into a more livable space. And uh, we also have introduced this uh, new system called as the TDR, that is Transactional Development Rights. And uh, this is a compensation in the form of floor area ratio or developmental rights which shall entitle the owner for constructing a built up area under this policy. Uh, the floor area ratio shall be used, issue, issued in the form of a certificate which is called as the development rights certificate. For example, somebody has a land that cannot be developed because of various reasons. Mm-hmm. Maybe it may be the bylaws or maybe it is in a wetland. Or they can take FAR in lieu of the land, they can surrender the land to us Mm -hmm. and then in lieu of it they can take the FAR and they can build it in other, build in some other place. Uh, Within within your jurisdiction? Within our jurisdiction. And we also have a proposed plan of expansion of GMDS jurisdiction that also we will be looking into it. Okay. Uh, Thank you again for giving your valuable inputs and your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Salantika Hunile. आज अनुषान गुवाहाट महानगर उन्नयन प्राधिकरण मुख्य कार्यवाही विषय अम्बा मुठान एम पिर सी शुनिले अनुषान सहण और प्रयोजना मानव प्रतिम शर्मार सहयोगित आगाले अपूर्व मालिये परवर्ती चलंतिका शुनबले पा अह सप्ताह आज एक नमस्कार Thank you.